Hi everyone, welcome to this month's masterclass. I've brought you today to the absolutely stunning Packington Summers Fishery on the Molens Pool. Now normally in our masterclasses we focus solely on the actual fishing aspect of it, how to catch more fish, all like the terminal tackle side of it and the way to go about it. Well today I want to do something completely different and it's not actually the fishing bit, but trust me this bit will make a massive massive difference to your end result when it comes to the fishing side of it. What I want to talk through today is casting, casting technique. And when I've been out coaching in the past and just when I'm fishing, I see so many people struggle, what I would call your normal sort of commercial fishery where you've got an island or a far bank to chuck to. I just see really, really struggle and they've got no confidence. And to be honest, this video is my sole aim in this video is to give you at the end of it how in everything that you need sort of thing everything so you can go out and practice now with this it's gonna take practice but to be able to get better you need to know what to practice and there's a lot more to it than first meets the eye so that is what this video is all about hi everyone this clip was taken from our match focus website i'm going to be adding a lot more content to our match focus youtube channel but if you'd like to watch the video in full a more in-depth look at the rigs the feeding bay and decision making then just head over to the website at matchfocus.co.uk i'd really really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to our match focus youtube channel as it really does help us grow i hope you enjoy watching the video our next step is thinking about the drop so the distance between your bomb or your feeder or your waggler to the tip of the rod now one of the things i see quite a lot of people do is they've only got like a foot 18 inches in terms of the distance between the tip of their rod to whatever it is they're casting out at the moment it's a bomb but it's a waggler as well now the problem is with this when you cast like that is two things to be honest one you can't compress the rod which we'll talk about in a little bit but the biggest thing to be honest is it's the amount of time that it spends straight behind you the key to being able to cast straight is one making sure you're facing exactly where you want to cast that's one thing that's really really important but the longer it spends behind me in that direct straight line the easier it's going to be to be able to cast straight so firstly by doing this when when i if that was my drop and i went to cast it's only bending sort of the top top section of my rod it's really hard to show but it's only bending sort of the tip of my rod it's the power of your rod is the bottom of your rod as such so one by doing this i'm not really compressing the rod but also because it's sort of bouncing around here there and everywhere it's not spending a lot of time behind me straight the other thing about a real real short drop is your timing's a hundred of a second either way but it's even more when you've got such a short drop so like to have it that's sort of same the casting point so roughly i don't know middle of the rod roughly that seems to be about perfect the reason being for those same two reasons is first thing when it comes to actually compress the rod when i go to actually push properly forward i'm compressing the rod so i'm getting the most out of the rod but as important as that is it's going to spend longer in that window of being directly straight behind me which is going to make sure my accuracy is bang on so nice straight and where it's landed this is the last thing to finish on when you're going out because i know this is a key problem as well is like pull everything away seems to land to the right all of the time wherever i cast it goes to the right look at where it's landed and i guarantee you this will be the reason if it's landing slightly to the right all of the time from where you're looking just say i'm looking at the point of the island and it's landing to the right of it I guarantee you this is what it'll be when you look at your body slow looking directly in between your feet up to your center and then straight 
that's exactly where whatever you're casting will be landing. So if it's going one way or other, think about your body position. So looking up, it would be going to the right of where I'm sat if I was aiming for the point of that island. Likewise, it'd be exactly the same if it was left. I'd be facing ever, that's dead straight, in line with me, where I'm looking at. That's exactly where I want to cast. If I was literally that much out, all of a sudden now, I'm going to be a metre and a bit off of it. Every single chuck. And then you start thinking, oh, I'll aim slightly this way, I'll aim slightly that way. Think about your body position. So drop's really, really important for those two reasons. One is making sure you compress the rod. But two is being able to spend as much time when I'm on my backswing, before I push through, it's spending more time straight. Lastly, it's the bounce as well. So what you'll find sometimes when you, when you see, you know, um, you're casting, the, it bounces in the air. And any time that's bouncing, it's creating ever such a tiny, tiny bit of slack, and that can fold over your rod tip, and that can cause crack-offs. So again, by having that slightly longer backswing, it's never bouncing. Dead straight, all of the time, stop it, look in line, absolutely perfect. So that is our next step in perfect casting. The next step in our casting, we've got holding our hand, finger on the spool, we've got a perfect drop. The next bit, which is really, really important, and this one thing will help you so much in the future. So what happens is...